So, I'm doing a what's in my bag video. I'm very excited because I just got this bag and I already am like in love with it. In love. It's Stella and Dot. I showed it in my May Favorites video. And it has a green lining with like navy blue polka dots. Brown leather everywhere. Just I love the shape too. It's structured and has like a solid bottom and so or a fairly solid bottom so you don't like lose crap in the bottom. So it's great. Let's see. First things first, carry my notepad. Um this is like this is for my job mostly, the reason I carry this. Um, cause I, yeah, so I can't really show you anything that I have in here because it's like phone numbers and emails and stuff. So yeah, there's this. It's like a notepad and you can just like flip it up like a steno pad. It's pretty great. I don't know, kind of adore it. Ooh, I almost knocked the camera off. And it, it's solid and it closes nicely and I just, it's really cute, you know? So yeah, there's that. Talked way too much about that. I also carry, notebooks. I don't know why anybody would need this many like writing objects but you never know when you need a notebook. Yeah. <sighs> and to write with in my notebooks. That's weird. I have three of those and I have three pens. Sharpie pens because it's really the only pens that you should ever use ever because they're amazing. I clearly, I bite the lids and this one, the little thingamajigger came like straight off a little clip. So I have blue and green and black and I have other colors in my room in my pencil bag. I'm a little, a little obsessed with those. I have my sunglasses. These are from H&M, I think. And they're just like, you know, super cute. I love them. They're like the only sunglasses that I haven't lost. I've had these for months and months. I think I've almost had them a year, actually. Actually, I've had these for like a year and a half. Oh, go me. I usually break sunglasses. Um, white citrus. Uh, antibacterial Bath and Body Works uh, moisturizing hand lotion. So it's lotion that has antibacterial in it. I use it when I babysit because kids can be kind of gross. But I'm not really uh, a germaphobe at all. Like, I don't really mind getting, you know, stuff on my hands. But that's just in case I come across something super gross or like a Walmart shopping cart. You know, you know what I'm saying? Now, onto lip products. I have a surprising few amount for what I usually have. I usually have like a million lipsticks in here, but since this is a fairly new purse, I haven't like destroyed it yet with all my crap. So I have a mini sugar um, lip balm. This is just plain. It smells pretty good. It smells like lemon. Um, sugar Fresh. It's SPF 15. I really like it. I got it like because of my birthday last year at Sephora. And I haven't finished it yet, so that's pretty cool. I also have the other one that came in the birthday scent, it's rosé and it's red and it actually tints my lips really well. It's pretty pigmented um, and I sort of adore it and I try to use it very sparingly because it's perfect but I don't really want to buy the full size because it's kind of expensive so if anybody wants to get me a Sephora gift card, that'd be super cool. But yeah, those are the fresh lip balms, sugar fresh lip balms. This one is Neutrogena lip balm and it's just plain boring. It came with a sunscreen I bought, but it smells like mint, so I put it in my purse. <laughs> so I like it. And then finally, I have my Caudalie lip conditioner, and this is super hydrating, and I only use it if my lips are crack a lacking like if they are nasty cracking. Like, you know, because I don't want to end it because again, it's a little more expensive than I would usually spend on um, on a lip conditioner that I'll probably end up repurchasing this because it's so amazing because I'm almost done like this is all that's left just a little nub and I also smells like mint it's really good I love it so there's those and then I have my little makeup bag this is Vera Bradley and it's just a little this is like an old bag this pattern was from several years ago, but it's my favorite pattern. It's so cute. I love brown and blue. I know it's not in style anymore, but I love it. Okay, so in here I carry around this, which is the Stila Natural Palette, the Natural Palette. I got this at Ulta um, in one of the little stands like by the register, um, and it has a little mirror in there. I'm going to cover that up so you can't see most of the camera set up. Um, and the colors are Pure, whew, Linen, Innocent, Element, Demure, Silk, 
organza and soft clay and all of these colors are perfect for my skin tone like even this bronzer and this highlighter it's great and I love it because I just can like these eyeshadows I just carry it around with me and I can just use it with my fingers but when I'm not in so much of a hurry I use one of these brushes I use this one for the highlighter and this one for the bronzer they're bare minerals brushes then I have my favorite powder which I just take like I use this when I'm getting ready in the morning um I just pull it out of my purse and use the stuff in it because I use this every day it's the L'Oreal True Match um this is in W1 porcelain super super white and I like it because it opens at the top and then at the bottom there's the mirror and the little puff and I like that because I don't like the mirror and the powder to be in the same compartment because then it gets nasty you can't even see yourself and what's you know what's what's a mirror if you can't see yourself um, it's a lot less vain is what it is, but still. And then I have a Tarte bronzer. This is Park Avenue Princess. And I'm almost hitting pan on this. I really, really like it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a really good color for my skin tone. I don't know why I have two bronzers in my bag, but I use them both. So what are you going to do? Um, but it's, it's really good for pale people like me, but I feel like it could also be really pretty on more tan people. Um, but it has just a, it, it, it's pretty matte, but it has just a little bit of glow in it so you don't look like muddy, you know? Um, love it. Then I have MAC So Sweet So Easy Cream Blush. I feel like this is kind of nasty. It has a little bit of like stuff in it, which I know is super gross. Just, uh, I apologize for you having to see that, but I use this all the time. Cream blush is the way to go, especially in the summertime, I feel like, um, I just, I use this constantly, like all the time I use this. And then I have a little eyeliner. This is Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Demolition. And it's like a chocolatey brown color. I'll open it for you. I need to sharpen it. But it's, um, it's just great. I just use it in my waterline, um, top and bottom waterline. I use it, you know, to make a wing. I use it for a lot of things because I feel like brown eyeliner looks really good on people with blue eyes. And it just like emphasizes your blue. But I feel like brown eyeliner looks good on every eye color though too. So, I don't know. And then I have this mascara which is a Zoom Fast Black Lash. And this came, um, my brother's fiance a while ago got me some MAC makeup for my birthday. Because she's an absolute sweetheart and she knows me. So I got this. It's like, it, it, this just came with it. I think it was like a sample or something. It, it really lengthens my lashes like crazy. But then I also layer it with this because... And I'll tell you about this in a second because this like it doesn't do any volume it's just straight up like spider length which I like but I have to combine it with something to give it some volume as well but this is great because it's small so that's why it's in my little travel bag and then this is my what I use every single day of my life whole life ever um, right now is CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion and it's the waterproof because my eyelids get kind of oily and then it just like drips down my face and that's never cute and also I can just jump in a pool if I want to because it's summer you know sometimes you just want to jump in a freaking pool so I have this and it won't come off ever but the thing is, is a lot of times waterproof um, mascaras are really hard to take off like when you're taking off your makeup at night but this one comes off pretty easily when you're trying to take it off but when you're not trying to it stays on you know it's just a big big brush and it's a pretty wet formula which I love I don't like dry formula mascaras and that is that and then I have my wallet which comes with um, a little keychain that attaches to it and I have all my keys on there um, I have like a bunch of keys um, but that attaches to this but I've started keeping this in the front pocket of my purse so I don't have to dig for my wallet every time I want to open my front door you know so um, and I do want to show you the top of this key really quick like can I just show you how cute this is I painted it with nail polish uh, I did blue on one side and uh, purple on the other and then put glitter nail polish over it and that's how I distinguish my mom's house key from my grandma's house key and um, I think it's pretty cute it's pretty pretty cute if I do say so myself I think that might have been a Pinterest thing I don't remember I certainly did not come up with that myself so there's that that is what's in my bag I hope you enjoyed and one more time just so you can look at it it's so cute okay cool anyway have a good day and I'll see you later yeah, 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 yeah.